And again, this is the fourth episode, I believe, of Daddy Da. And our special guest is here. Can you introduce yourself? Hello, everybody. My name is Melody. I'm 17 years old and I'm based in Canada. This is my first ever interview, so I'm a bit nervous, but thank you for coming to watch today. Yay. Okay. So, to this start, do you have a call and response? Oh, no. For me, I don't have a call and response. Okay. If you have to, like, pick one, what do you think, like, the theme of it will be? Um, probably related to the magical girl theme. And okay. then that's my aesthetic, so, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, this is going to be on YouTube. If you want to comment some suggestion or, like, a call and response, that'd be amazing. You're welcome right. to comment a call and response, but it's something I've never really been focused on, but I would really like to listen to your suggestions. Mm-hmm. So, uh, what's your, like, concept, or did, how did you decide upon this one? So my concept is like the magic idol, which if you've been following me, you've probably seen before. And this is because I think that music is like a form of magic and it's something that I use to connect with people and I want to use it to share happiness with the world. So I did notice on your Instagram, you have like multiple outfits. Um, what would you say is your favorite and then can you explain your most recent one? So I've used two outfits before, and the original one was the one I debuted with, so that's why it's a little more simple. And if you see in my new costume, it's much more detailed, and this is to show how basically I'm kind of evolving as I go along, and how I'm becoming more complex as I go, if you know what I mean by that. Yeah. I prefer the second one, probably because it's more detailed, but they're both very special to me. And even though the first one is more simple, it has a very special place in my heart. So, what got you into being, like, a kind of idol? Or, like, idols in general? So, for idols in general, well, it all started when I was very young. I've been professionally trained in music for most of my entire life. And now, recently, I've also been studying dance as well as music production. So, both of these are very important to me. For the idol path in particular, I think getting into some of my favorite idol groups was a big inspiration. But it's just so many things about the subculture, like the dancing and the connection with fans all really resonated with me. And it felt like something that I was really meant to do, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Right. I feel like just something, I don't, I don't want to explain it, but I'll talk about it. <laughs> but like, you know, when they get their cutie marks, like it was something that was just born to do, you know? Oh, I've never watched My Little Pony, but yeah. Oh. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. What are some of your like special talents or like your strengths? So I mentioned this before, but music is something really important to me. And I think one of my end goals is actually to increase the value of music in idol culture, because I'd really like to encourage more idols to focus on the music itself and the creation of it, rather than just holding value in the performance. But one of my other strengths all my other strengths are mostly kind of connected to that in a way. I really am learning how to produce music and also things like dance. And another thing I really pride myself in is the ability to write lyrics and just literary talent in general is something important to me. Yes, that, that can go a very long way. Um, that's exactly what I'm liking, but I... Oh, and it goes into the next question. I have seen, I have listened to you, your song that you released. Because I was playing and I saw it and I was like, oh wow, you released like uh, a song. I really like the lyrics and I'm like, I only, okay, I'll have to go back and listen to the second one. Because I found, I think it was called New Idol, New Idol Song. Yeah. I like the instrumental, I like the lyrics, and if I'd known about it, I would have used it in your Instagram post. I am planning on making many more songs in the future, and I'm actually planning an upcoming single very soon, so if everybody could stay tuned for that, I would be really happy. Can you, like, discuss what um, inspired you to make your newest song, or the one you plan on releasing? So the plan I'm planning on releasing, actually, I wrote it almost a year ago. 
Um, I really wanted to make a summer theme song, so I'm going to spoil it right now. That's what the theme is. It's a summer theme song. And I just did it because I really like the season and I like the mood of it. And I've also listened to a lot of other songs by idol groups, which are about summer. And I thought it would be a really fun idea to do one myself. Okay. Um, so I did see your first performance, I think. Yeah, I did watch your first, your debut performance. Can you explain, like, what did you do to train for it? Well, to train in particular, I work with a company where I can rent out the studio. So I often will rent out the studio to practice. And I've also been taking dance lessons at school. So practicing dance and singing at the same time is really good at school. Okay, yeah, fine. Um, wow, okay. So... That's the end of like our space, our regular questions. Now we're gonna go into some of them one from the Q and A. Yeah. So one of the questions for you is, what kind of songs do you cover? So I think it's normal to be curious about this because I've noticed that most of the overseas or Kai Kai idols mostly do covers, but all of my music is strictly original. However, I would like to make some YouTube covers for someday because I think that would be really fun. And also, I would maybe like to cover some songs in a live show too, which is especially good if I have a long live show and the current amount of music I have isn't enough for a big set list. If you had to do like a cover, let's say like in three months, what song would you like do? Mm, probably something from Sailor Moon. This is my favorite show. I really like it too. Yay. And then, okay, so a couple questions for me is, who is your Kami Oshi? My Kami Oshi is Karen Matsumoto from Fruit Zipper, which has been my favorite group for a very long time. Okay. And then another question was, what, um, how long have you been, like, singing? And then what, how can you advise someone as new to singing? Okay, so I've actually been singing since I was five years old. Ooh. I was, it, I'll say, so in my class at the time, singing was mandatory, but I was the only person, I think, who was really trying to go learn it to do it really well and actually took a big passion in it while the others were just doing it because it was part of their curriculum. And sorry, what was the other question? Uh, how, what's some advice you would give to someone that's new to singing? So definitely don't try to change the way your voice sounds, but rather embrace the voice that you were born with and try to improve that. Also remember the importance of vocal warming up. If you don't warm up for very long, then it can actually be really damaging to your voice. Make it slow and steady and eventually you will improve. Okay, that's all the questions that I have prepared. Thank you for being the guest. And then that'll be the end. Bye. Thank you, everybody. Bye.